Welcome back, Redeemers, and thank you for joining us again. My name is Curtis. I'm Nick. I'm Lo. I'm Pete. And today we're getting into a Patreon request, Epiphany by Jin of BTS. Thank you, Kimberly, for the request. We Shout can... out to Kim Kim. Kim, you're the best. Love you, Kim. And we can her. get right into it. I love all our army. Yeah, you're right. I love them, too. I don't need to know people to love them. Oh, fuck off. Spread love. PC, mayor. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking bird. PC baby. This is Jared. I believe this is Jin Solo in one of the intros. Oh, finally. Sok Jin. Jin front and center where he belongs. Didn't fucking tell us where he belongs in the center. So the captions are all over. That's fucking crazy. Slowly got brought in. Oh, yeah. rom-com where he loses the girl now he's got to you know hell yeah Jung giving grown and sexy <laughs> so that was tough Hmm. It doesn't look like it's raining anymore. It looks like it was sunny out there. I don't know what that says. Translate that in the comments, though. Subtitles wrong, but it's not for this guy, so. Can I start this one off? Oh, yeah. But it, oh, there's but, more. Yeah. Maureen is saving big holiday shopping at Amazon. Nothing without his brothers, man. I like this one. Um, 
you know, I guess everyone interprets everything, you know, differently. How I interpret it, I, I like the message behind it. I really like how, you know, us as men and machismo, male masculinity, you know, I feel like self-love, not even just for men, but for, you know, men and women, how important self-love is. And I feel like as, as men, we don't really look at stuff like that necessarily. You know what I mean? Um, there were moments in there where he was saying, like, you know, uh, something where I thought we were going to live forever or something. I will spend my life with you or something in the beginning. And that I'm the one I'm, I should be loving me, you know? And it's like the, the message behind us, how can you love someone so much when you don't have self love? It's no way. It's like a contradiction. So I really enjoyed that. I, I thought that that's part of a K-pop guy, uh, BTS, you said, yeah. mm -hmm. I see I'm a fan of, uh, the K-pop, but I'm, I, this really made me like it because I get to see an individual as far as like, I'm not too used to seeing so many people in groups and it's kind of hard to shine, you know, and I know everyone plays well with each other. Everyone has a strong suit. You got your rapper, you got your dancer and everyone has their specialty, but this kind of hones in like to their character, to the personality. And it shows a little bit more another side to someone. And I feel, I, I really like this one. And Jim's voice is amazing. Yeah, this of is course. a nice uh, trip into Jin. I feel like, <laughs> you know, not to be funny or anything like that, I feel like this is the first time I've ever seen Jin with something that he can, like, have and call his own or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. This is, like, because everything else in the group, and I know sometimes it, it could be, like, a, a soft spot for some of the other people in, 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 like, ARMY and the fandom, and sometimes maybe even in them, but I was glad to see this because just, like, all the other stuff you kind of got to deal with as Jen, like, you're the oldest. RM's the leader of the group. Your nickname is Worldwide Handsome. V was just, molded, was just voted the most handsome man in the world. Imagine my nickname is, the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's fucking crazy. You know, you learn to dance. You got Jim and JK, J-Hope in the group. You know what I'm saying? You're not really a rapper. You got the rappers in the group. Just It's finally good to see him. I'm glad we did a solo jump for him so we can see him, you know, kind of have something where he shine. This is a nice, uh, smooth little ballad. Also, I feel like he has the he's the most traditionally, traditionally Korean sounding, in my opinion, or to my ears. Like, this just sounds like a, a Korean ballad mm -hmm. from what I've heard prior to listening to K-pop and just how it kind of, like, how they sound and singing, you know, so everything like that. So I feel like he'll, he's definitely probably, you know, has his, for whatever we think or feel or whatever like that, and whatever people might say, I feel like he's probably really hit over there. It's probably really hit over there. And this is a good John. I like that how you interpreted that, uh, Pete. So... Yeah, it's good to see uh, Jim get his own, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the good thing about BTS is that, I guess, for it's probably human nature for us to kind of gravitate towards what we like. So, you know, I, I, I personally don't get offended when people show love to particular members and stuff like that. But I will kind of double down and say it, it is really refreshing to see Jim front and center and him kind of getting something that is his own mm -hmm. um because I, I guess anytime we go back and forth about who's you know like obviously the best singer the best dancer and everything all like that i think is room for kind of any arguments be made with a lot of members yeah. i always said i thought jen had the strongest voice like just like as far as strength goes and it's just kind of it seems like sometimes his his chest to head voice yeah. seems very much raw um and i kind of I, I like the upper register like that his voice can like Yep. Like like bring so like I I get all that, um, I I do have a soft spot for Jin when it comes to I guess people like kind of talking shit about certain things of it, mm -hmm. and I don't have to double down and talk about any of that the video, but I do kind of just wish niggas would just leave certain shit alone. Yeah, with it's just Jin. like bro, he just be chilling. He's so laid back, you know. What I'm he's, saying? he's 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 the old point. head of yeah. the group. Like he's the oldest member. He's chilling. Like he's really consent. And he's happy being with like his brothers and just like doing yeah. shit. So I don't. You see, I, he had them in the end. That's what I was gonna say. I'm like, wow, this is the first time I've kind of seen them like nobody else. Anything. I mean, besides the joke video, but mm -hmm. he still had his brothers like at the end. Like I said, that just shows how that bond is, bro. Like, and that was one of the first ways on uh, just like Pete. I know we'll give you time because it's kind of hard to 
distinguish between all members, between any K-pop group, mm. especially with the way we go about things because we react to so many groups. Sometimes it's hard to juggle things. You might be like, hey, that's, you know, such and such. You're like, no, we're wrong group. Like, yeah. um, that literally how I remember Jin was just worldwide handsome and strong voice almost. And then I just kind of, anytime I hear his voice, it, I can, it got to a point where they can start, you know, singing. And I'd be like, shit, it's Jin. Uh, yeah. um, Me, I'm, I'm literally, I know now. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I, I just know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I ain't gonna rap too much. I'm gonna let Kurt talk. It's just, um, yeah, like it's, I, I really just want to double down on the whole Jin having his own. Like thing, and if, if anything, I think he, I'm not gonna say deserves it more than other members, but definitely feel like he should be getting some more shit off. Yeah, I would like to hear a little, you know, a nice little EP or something from him. Yeah. Just how he goes. I don't even care if it's all of these, you know, little ballads, you know. I it's okay that. to be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. Which, which I'm surprised that they haven't done a collective album where it's just an assortment of all just them tracks by themselves almost. Yeah, technically um, wings, you got some of that, but I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean literally just kind of like a whole like album. a compilation of just yeah. thoughts. Even know, if it's fourteen it. tracks and it's like we all got two songs apiece. Would it be uh, fair to like, say that these artists need the group to be someone or to be as big, or these artists, the reason why that camaraderie is there and the whole breakup thing and really, you know, no matter what, we go back to the group and we're, you know, we're a unit and that will always forever be like that. But is that maybe has something to do with marketing or like, you know, none of these guys have what it takes to hold up their own because they need the rest or is nah, it is there a solo them, artist to be able? Nah, you know bro, what I mean. Like I said, one of them, one of them, literally just got voted the most handsome man in the world. I like, mean, but that's handsome. No, but I, I mean, no, I'm saying so. Like superficial. I'm talking about no, skill. No, like no, 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 no. But he's also, in my opinion, he has the widest vocal range mm-hmm. in the group. And like I said, he might. Can you make better. it on his own? He, yes. None of them need the group, but none of them can't live without the group. They personally, that makes sense. they personally can't do it without the group. In themselves, they do not want to. That's what I'm saying. No, nah, but see, that's what I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not saying it, you know, every well, one of them is talented enough what, to leave yeah, the group and, and have that's a what successful I'm saying. career. Talent that's wise, what I'm yes, saying. All of, you have three rappers, you have uh, four singers, mm-hmm. and one, uh, well, technically, JK just literally does everything. everything. And J Hope, too. JK and what and I mean, J-Hope like, it, everything. Not to cut you off yeah. either, like, you know, solo wise, that artist is able to. Be as bigger, if not bigger, without the, with the group or with you know what I mean. Without the group, so uh, I know, like I said, Lo isn't really big on it, but I always harken back to like One Direction, and I kind of it's probably not fair because of how music is set up now. Mm-hmm. I think they're like at least to me top five for a group breaking up and everyone having like a pretty decent solo career. Mm-hmm. They all have platinum albums outside of like the group, like by themselves. When you like look at any of their videos, they all have a smash hit. Where something is like 600, 700 million views on like YouTube. And you can account that to it being in the group. But when it's consistently going on with years, that kind of like speaks in high volume. If they, I'm not even going to say if they were to break up. If if it was an opportunity or a situation where they were putting out their own uh, like content and shit, you see he's getting 100 million views by himself. Yeah. Singing in a room. And I think the only. It's one of my favorite pieces, to be honest. And <laughs> the reason being, you know. Take away all the all the big stuff, you know, the choreographer, all everything that's yeah. big, and you know, make it based to its original roots. And I, I just really, for some reason, this really vibe for me, just because it singles someone out, and it's like it takes away all the shenanigans and all the, you know, t- not antics. I you know, know what I will say, say, but all the jazz, and it's like this is it's more intimate, and personal. It's like I don't know, it just felt more of a I feel like for this- me anyway. A, 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 connection with that this right here is one of the songs that are like live on past their performance days because everyone gets old you know what i'm saying no one mm. can beat father time i think this is like one of their songs that'll probably live on where he could perform this you can be 50 old. years old almost just sitting down on the chair yeah or doing an acoustic version of in course. 2040 something it's yeah. like a timeless type yeah. of song especially Literally just the- belting it out you know what i'm saying that's mm. that's that's kind of what i what i what i see what i see with this and I think, and that's more so why I say them releasing solo material. Like I said, I don't need them to go solo. I don't think that will serve anything because these days you don't have to go solo. 
That going solo is literally an archaic way of thinking. I hate that even it gets pushed. Because <laughs> you don't have to do that to be successful in either point. It's not like your group shit is going to take away from you. You make having solo material is just literally your solo expression. And especially with the way K-pop does. And, you know, well, they're not a typical K-pop group, of course. Yes, we know this. But they still do have line distribution in songs and everything like that. So I think this will be a good one that'll like last beyond the performance. You know what I'm saying? When your feet tired. I wonder, I wonder too, with the line distribution, how much of that, like is just them. Like for all we know, you know, maybe particular people wanted to chill back on certain title songs or maybe they collectively just was like, well, your voice is strong. You'd be cool to do this part. Knowing how they work in their culture, I would not be shocked. Yeah. It's just there. Cause it's very much, it's, you know, over here we competitive, bro. It's like, no, I got to get my shine, my nigga. I got to get my lines in. I got to sing my part, whatever, woo, 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 all this stuff like that. I don't think nothing's wrong with that. I'm a naturally competitive person. But on the other side of me, the duality part, I can also look and say, nah, bro, this ain't me. This would You would kill this part. You would fuck this up, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You would do that. And I feel like, you know, for an example, we kind of do that with how we react to videos or our lanes. You kind of like lead off bat for most shit. You know what I'm saying? Kurt, the analysis... I'm, I look forward to Kurt's analysis. Me too. Because it's, it's, it's a you. fun part as opposed to, obviously, I feel like we all could break a video down. But I like the way, I prefer the way he analyzes mm. shit. And that's, that's his Goes thing. Goes in depth. Mm-hmm. It's, it's his thing. It's, it's nice when you see someone doing anything, like someone who likes cars. Seeing them work on a car is, is that kind of thing. So and I to, feel like that's. To uh, piggyback okay. what you said, um, and there was you know a study shown that, you know because you're talking about competition and. It was, it was there were studies shown that cooperation it was better than competition, and I feel that K-pop to piggyback in the the philosophy and ideology behind that. I really like that, even though I would like to see solo artists and do their thing, but to go back and to stay loyal to your to your unit to your group, I think it's pretty dope. But um, yeah, I, I think that the cooperation is better than the you know competition per se yeah because some some people honestly would rather some people would rather try to create their own lane than to build something successful with a group Mm -hmm. of like-minded individuals like lo said i think we're at a point in this channel where almost anybody could break down a video by themselves someone could literally be at the crib set up their camera do everything and break it down but if i do a reaction by myself i'm not going to be able to break down a video as fast as kurt can Mm -hmm. as far as you know, uh, deciphering what he thought the meaning of a video was. My music ear, I think, is really strong, but Low brings other stuff to music that I didn't catch or something. Or he mm-hmm. might just be like, no, Nick, the falsetto wasn't as strong here, and this happened, and, you know, da 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 And I respect his opinion, like, on music. Even you and Ty, is, uh, you know, especially you, Pete, being able to come on and already kind of have an ear for music, especially, like, rap stuff and other shit, where it's just like you can break it down real quick. We all got our own shit that we bring to it. And I, I ironically look at us as like a K-pop unit. Mm-hmm. In fact, more like a fixed unit where any other day you don't know who's in here or what you're kind of exactly. getting. And I was going to say, just to piggyback off that, is not only that I like his analysis, it's sometimes it's laziness too because remember what I said, <laughs> if I don't like a song, I won't break that. I won't really like... Once That's almost like you're hearing a beat and just like... Mm. The last time I was like, oh, Kirk about to score 50 tonight. I'm going to ride the bench tonight. Yeah, I was not, listen, I'm about to have 12 assists. Yo, Kurt, here, behind the back. There you go. Yeah, what you think about this? All right, there you go. So you kind of, you know, we rely on our brothers up here, and I feel like that's exactly what uh, Bang Tang has done. No, I feel like they kind of made an imprint on us where we move like that. <laughs> you know, we was tight before, but I feel like this made us even tighter, and we kind of, you know, do that. So, yeah, but speaking of which. <laughs> let's go, speaking Kurt. of which. <laughs> so sorry. They skipped nah, that part anyway. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I, I love everything that you guys were saying, and I, I definitely completely agree. Um, there, was, there was a lot to take from this video. I To speak on, you know, just BTS for a second, like I obviously love – getting into all their individual things and not to say that they should or have to go solo, but just for me and getting to learn more about them, like I think it speaks more volumes to have a more intimate kind of song that's personal to you than to have a worldwide hit necessarily. And it's not just saying that, you know, those hits don't matter or anything like that, but it just, I really like to see the person behind, you know, the words. And this was like a great display of that because I'm not too well versed in everything, you know, about Jin or anything like that. So 
seeing this for sure, I mean, there was so much to take away. Immediately, the black and white, you know, the kind of slow build with the, the beat and everything like that. So it did feel kind of depressing or kind of more somber, everything like that. Camera's like panning in slowly, as he's saying, like, mm-hmm. you know, you know, talking about self-worth and all those things. And ironically, you know, they kind of pulled a bait and switch on me because I expected when the, when the light came in that it was going to be more building and like, you know, overcoming that. But yet they revert back from it and he's back in the darkness again. And they had multiple, you know, versions of him, which I don't know if that's him sitting on the couch and saying, what if I go out there and try to be happy? I'm not going to be happy, like a, a kind of self-doubt thing. Mm-hmm. Or anything like that. And they get rained on. Yeah, yeah but even even in the black and white, when he goes in the mirror, looks at himself, he doesn't, you know, look at himself for that long. And even the light that he turns on, that's in his setting, it's still black and white for us. So it's like even though light's being brought there, it's not real light. Definitely. So it's just it it really made it feel like a depressing kind of um, mood, more so. And I could be wrong. I mean, I was you know trying to pay most attention to the lyrics, obviously, but. Mm-hmm. When they were zooming in, um, the only thing that was really in frame is the flower on the table. And I could be wrong, but I thought it was a moonflower. Uh-huh. And that's ironic because a moonflower can't bloom in light. It only blooms in darkness. So I just thought that that was like, you know, mm. I'm growing during my darkness or anything like that. This guy's the goat, man. I could, yeah. Yeah. Dark, yeah. No, I could, I could be wrong, but it's just that's what I kind of thought. From <laughs> yeah. And even when he went outside... Like it didn't actually look like he was getting rained on. Like I didn't the see rain, the the rain, rain wetting. Started actually there. reversing. Like yeah, and there. that's what I noticed like, for sure too. And his hair still kind of stayed that uh-huh. same blonde. So I don't know if that was when like he came back know. in the house. He wasn't like mm-hmm. drenched or anything like. And that. And that's why I thought like when they had the two or three different versions of him, it was like I could go out, but it's still going to be somber out there. Or it's still going to be depressing. I'm not really going anywhere, so I'm just going to stay here. Like it felt like that. But then at the end of the video, the only kind of light that really speaks through is when he's with his brothers, the you know mm-hmm. BTS. So I. I thought it was a really great full circle in the sense that I'm doing a solo work. I'm telling you about me and how I feel about my self-worth or something that can resonate in a more depressing kind of tone, yeah. even if you're a worldwide figure or idol or anything like that. But yet he still brought it back at the end saying like, this is where I feel like, you know, most like me mm. when I'm with them. See, you wouldn't have got there for me. So. <laughs> yeah. Bleak, bleak shit like this uh, <laughs> makes me want to. I love bleak I, shit. I would love to him, hear him and uh, Adele. Kind of, uh, like sonically, like their voices yeah. together. I would like to hear what they what they would come out together like. But see, and that's mm. and that's what I mean, and not not like I think that they need to ever piggyback off somebody because they have number one hits like by themselves. Mm-hmm. But I I do feel like at this point another direction that they can move in is like really charting with some voices that like like imagine uh, Jimin with Sam Smith or something like you know what I mean where it's just particular artists maybe that they can link with and do certain shit with and it's just like that might be we keep throwing out god tier around here for like the past couple weeks like just god tier him and adele would just be like you're gonna need a box of tissues for that one yeah you'd be like crying for no reason that's mm-hmm. like, be like vocal I magic got teary especially eyes. as soon as the thing i was like yeah. comes in and sh- i'm like shit does a james yeah. bond movie come <laughs> <laughs> We not nah, matter of fact, I, I had an idea like that. Like I said, I want to do another video where we kind of dream collabs for each of the members or the group in general, just you know everybody. But y'all stay tuned for that. Or would y'all like that? You know what I'm saying? Would y'all like to see our hashtag Redeemers? Yeah, Redeemers patrons, army. Would y'all even like to uh, see us uh, go and uh, do a video about that? But no long talk. Shout out to Jen, man. Great song, dude. Jen, you're special, man, and you definitely going to be getting more love on the channel, and uh, I know as the up-and-coming months go, everyone's going to start getting yeah, their solo shit. Yeah, we got some solo shit loaded for everybody, actually. Singularity coming soon. Um, <laughs> begin. Yes. Yeah. Uh, stigma. So. Play Shadow. Uh, reflection. August D, August D. Yeah, listen, man, we can go all day. Shadow. Yeah, it's coming. Outro. <laughs> <laughs> Road to 4 milli. Road to a dub. Seiko Jin. You're the one that you should love. Love yourself. Love yourself. And the game is over. <laughs> Peter's <laughs> <is> shooting from. <laughs>